Hello Taurus. So this week we're going to be looking at your next breakthrough Taurus. What does God's spirit has in store for you? What changes are you can anticipate when it comes to your life? So these messages that I put forth, they are general. They're not going to resonate with everyone, Taurus. Just take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm not going to prolong it any longer. Let's go ahead and get right into your messages. Spirit, give me some messages for Taurus. What is their next breakthrough? What is Taurus's next breakthrough? What can Taurus expect? during this next season in their life what do i have okay i have the five of swords i heard victory actually i heard victorious i got that for another sign i think that was cancer so you may have some significant cancer placements this reading is for sun moon rising venus north node as well as jupiter so if you have cancer in any of those placements, then I will go check out that reading. But yes, victory. I feel like you're getting victory over your haters, the naysayers, the people who doubted you, the people who were in competition with you. Like this is you prevailing, coming out on top. I feel like you're coming into a season where, you know, people are going to have peace with you. I'm going to say that again. People are going to have peace with you. Like God is going to make even your enemies be at peace with you, Taurus. Let's get some more messages. Ooh, what do I have? Okay, I have the three of wands in the reverse. I, I heard moving, relocating. I feel like for some of you, you may actually be moving or you may be thinking about moving in this next season. Um, for some of you, I see you doing renovations on your home or getting a new home for someone. I heard spruce her up. I feel like for some of you, you're going to decide to just fix up, you know, where you currently are. You know, fix up your home, do any renovations, make it beautiful. I also see, I heard like stuck. I feel like um, whatever it is that you're focused on, you're working on, like you're planted. Like you're going to be super focused. Like you're going to be unmovable, unshakable. It's like once you reach the top, once you sit on your throne, that is it. I see a lot of elevation for you. So yeah, it's like once you get to the top, you're going to continue to rise. I know Taurus, you know, there may be certain times where you may doubt and feel like okay once i get to a certain level you know then what's next you know you may have a fear of um dwindling back down or being on the decline it's like you don't trust like once you make it that you're gonna stay there it's like you're always waiting for the rug to be pulled from under you it's like yeah i made it to the top you know i'm successful Okay, now, when is the ball going to drop? Like, when is something bad going to happen? And so this is God saying nothing bad is going to happen. Like, once you make it to the top, you make it to the top. You just continue to elevate. I heard, like, wishful thinking. Um, Definitely be very cautious, like, of your thoughts, of the things that you're putting out into the universe. And God really wants you to know, like, once you make it, you've made it. Like, you don't have to worry about anything happening. Like, you don't have to worry about going back to your former state, Taurus. Let's get some more messages. Okay. Oh, I have the Eight of Wands. Okay. I feel like um, you're definitely going to have a lot of good communication, good news coming in, Taurus. Um, I feel like for some of you, if there's been someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time, I feel like you're going to be closing that gap and communicating with this person. Um, I'm also getting like high school. For some of you, you may be communicating with people that you went to high school with. Um, I also get a college roommate for someone. 
But I feel like anyone from the past, anyone, you know, of the old, a family member or friend, I definitely see a lot of communication. I see a lot of reminiscing going on, Taurus. I'm also seeing travel flights. Like, you're definitely going to be catching flights, traveling, seeing different parts of the world, traveling to different countries. I heard Israel for someone. Let's get another message. Spirit, give me another message for Taurus. Yeah, I see you going to like foreign countries, foreign lands. For someone, um, I hear that you're going to be doing missionary work. Um, I heard like the Red Cross. So yeah, I feel like you're definitely going to be giving more of your time to those in need. Okay, what do I have? Okay, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Taurus, you're definitely going to experience a change in luck. A change in luck, a change in your situation. I feel like um, for some of you, you've been going like through a very difficult period. A lot of hardships, a lot of lessons, clearing out a lot of karma. And so, Spirit says completion. You're going to be coming to the completion of that. Where you're going to start to see things shift in your favor. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the two of wands. So yeah, there's definitely going to be some traveling. I heard like explore. I feel like for some of you, um, you're going to want to explore different parts of yourself, different sides of yourself. Um, I feel like you're going to be more creative. You're going to be really stepping outside of the box, outside of your comfort zone. I heard like notoriety. For someone, you're going to be gaining a lot of attention, notoriety. I heard travels. For some of you, like you may be filming your travels and starting a social media page, showing people, you know, your different excursions, you know, the different places that you travel to, the different foreign lands. And this is really going to produce a lot of notoriety for you you're going to garner a lot of attention let's clarify spirit give me a message for the five of swords come on the fool the fool you know what i'm looking at this kid people are going to see like your softer side like people are going to like see that you are really genuine and whatever it is that you do, like you're just a genuine person. And I heard like the way that you speak is just very genuine. Like people are going to see your heart. They're going to see that you're very good natured. I'm also getting like people are going to like the fact that you don't back down from a challenge. Like you're not scared of taking a risk on yourself. I'm also getting like maturity. I feel like you're the mature one. So whoever has tried to come up against you, you know, throw dirt on your name, attack you, whether physically or with words, it's like you're the mature one. Like the fact that you handle things in a very mature way um, is how you're going to overcome or defeat these people. Because it's like you're not willing to scoop to their level. Like I'm bigger than that. I'm better than that. Like by the time... <sighs> <laughs> they get near you or get close enough to you like you're already gone it's like i'm on to the next thing it's like you're not going to engage you're not going to indulge in the nonsense or the foolishness it's like no i'm just gonna move along like while they're still there arguing bickering you're gonna be gone like they're gonna be talking to themselves i feel like just by you being able to act from a wiser place that's going to allow you to defeat your enemies you're not going to have to do anything it's just by you being yourself and detaching removing your energy not engaging in the nonsense that's how you're going to win clarifying the three of wands is justice Whatever wasn't moving for you, like whatever was slowed up, 
is finally going to turn in your favor. I feel like for some of you, you may have been going like through a court case. Things may have been stagnant. You may have felt like you were going to lose or miss out. No, things are going to balance out in your favor. I feel like God is giving you your just due. Um, God is giving you the gift of movement. It's like where things were stuck, were stagnant. It's like you're finally going to be able to move. I heard like acceleration and it's going to happen very quickly. Let's get a message for the Eight of Wands. I have the Three of Water, the Three of Cups in the reverse. Um, For some of you, again, you're going to be communicating with long lost friends, like people who you have not spoken to in years, decades, childhood friends, you know, people that you went to college with. Yeah, I see you reconnecting with a lot of people from the past. Let's get a message for the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. I heard the age of six. For some of you, you may be um, connecting with a friend whom you have known since the age of six. Clarifying the will of fortune is the six of earth, six of pentacles. Yes, God is going to give to you. God is going to nurture you, like pour back into you. God is going to nurture you financially, emotionally. Mentally, it's like he's building you back up. For some of you, you had to go through certain towers because there were still things you were holding on to that you did, you would not release. And so situations had to take place so that you can walk away from certain people, certain connections. But I'm just looking at her hands, but God is nurturing you back. Like God is building you back up. Let's get a message for the two of wands. Oh, look at what I have. The ace of air, the ace of swords. You're going to be victorious. <laughs> yes. And whatever pursuits you have for yourself, whatever you're doing, traveling, moving, starting a new project, whatever it is. It's like you're recognizing the sky is the limit. Like there's endless possibilities and you're not putting any limits on yourself. And because of that, you're going to have victory. You're going to have success. You're coming out of this wheel of fortune in the reverse. And we're going into the six of pentacles, equal give and take, reciprocity. Spirit is giving back to you what you put out. God is giving back to you what you have put out towards. So if you've been putting out good energy, that's what you're getting back. Goodness, blessings, abundance, peace. God is just giving you that same energy that you was giving to other people. That you were putting out into the world. Victory is yours. You are going to be successful. You don't have to worry. Going back to the five of swords. You already defeated these people. Just by being who you are. Moving on. Just moving along. Like I'm on to the next thing. I'm not even going to stay here and deal with this. I'm moving along. The gift of not dwelling on things. Of not letting things hold you back any longer. That's what you have learned or will be learning. And it's going to be magnificent for your life. Because it's finally going to allow you to come out of stagnation. And experience movement. Experience change. Because you're not staying in a stuck place. You're not going to continue to deal with unhealthy circumstances. Unhealthy people. Unhealthy relationships. Unhealthy jobs. Careers. You're just going to move along. God is giving you change. God is giving you the spirit of change. The spirit of accepting change. Being fearless instead of fearful. You're no longer fearing change. You know, Taurus, I am a rising. A Taurus rising. So change can be difficult. But God is washing that away and giving you a new mindset. You will no longer fear change. You will just go with the flow. You're just going to embrace it. Because you're going to recognize that in change, there is a blessing. It had, Things have to change if you want a new beginning. Things have to change if you want your situation to change. If you want to change. Let's get some more messages. 
Spirit, give me some more messages for Taurus. Give me some more messages for Taurus. I have the Queen of Swords. And you are going to be confident in the decisions that you make. Confident when it comes to who you allow to stay in your life and who has to go. I have the Sun in the reverse. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of reflection, a lot of cleaning house. You're going to decide what stays, what goes, what you're not happy with. What no longer benefits you. And you're getting rid of it. I have the eight of pentacles. For some of you, God is giving you... I heard the gift of time. I forgot what reading I said this in. I believe it was two. One or two readings. But the gift of time. God is giving you the gift of time. The gift of time so that you can invest in yourself. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be going back to school. There's something that you're going to be doing when it comes to studying, picking up a new craft, a new hobby, learning more about divination, spirituality, starting a new project. For some of you, you're going to be investing in a new business. Let's get another message. I have the five of cups. I heard distraction. Whatever disappointment, upsetting event that you have suffered or that you have recently experienced, Taurus, I heard distraction. It's like with this Eight of Pentacles, God is going to allow you to use your, your career, your business, yourself, focusing on you, building you. Your endeavor, whatever it is that you're doing as a distraction. He's giving you the gift of distractions. So that you can stop focusing on things that are not beneficial. So that you can stop focusing on the past. The gift of distractions. Next we have the star. Because you serve a higher purpose. Your calling is great. You are going to stand out. Again, attention, notoriety. Then I have death and rebirth, transformation, that's that change. Let's clarify. Spirit, clarify the queen of swords, the gift of distractions. Yeah, you're going to be busy. God's going to have you doing a lot of things, but that's to take your mind off of situations of people that really are not good for you so that you don't get stuck. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords. The King of Cups. Oh, yes. There's somebody who's going to be very sure about you. Oh, yes. This person is confident. They know what they want. They're going to be very sure about you. This is somebody who's going to want to give. And they're going to like the fact that you're very confident. You're very intelligent. Very smart. They also are going to see you as very nurturing and loving. Yeah, this person, I heard like only eyes for you, Taurus. Let's get a message for the sun in the reverse. The ace of pentacles in the reverse. I heard perception. You know, Taurus... God will give us what we want, but then it's like when we get what we want, we want more. <laughs> so we're never satisfied because it's like, okay, I've accomplished this or I have this. I have this house. I have this relationship. I have the car. I have a successful business. Okay, now what's next? And so you're going to be learning how not to be so focused on the what's next and just to appreciate the moment you're in. Appreciate the season you're in, Taurus. Let's get a message for the Eight of Pentacles.
Okay. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Oh, you're getting to work. You are definitely getting to work. You have a big dream, a big goal that you want to accomplish. This is definitely going to be something brand new that you are starting. And you will be building from the ground up, Taurus. And it is going to be successful. Let's get a message for the Five of Cups. I have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, I heard wishy-washy. Okay. So you may have a tendency to relive the past, focus on, you know, the relationships, the people that you've invested into, you've given so much to, but they didn't give you in anything in return. They didn't give back to you. But like I said, Taurus, not, do not look for repayment from other people because they don't owe you that. Um... Release expectations of others. You can't expect other people to do you how you do them. That's just not going to happen. Everybody don't have it in them. Everybody don't have your character. Everybody don't have your heart. They don't appreciate, you know, they might not appreciate you as you appreciate them. They may not love you how you love them. They may not care about you how you care about them. So you can't put expectations on people. So you have to release that. And not expect for people to give to you how you give to them. That's not where your blessings are going to come from. Yes, God can use people to bless you. But ultimately, your blessings come for God, from God. So God is going to show you like, okay. So you didn't get what you wanted from that person. You poured and you gave to this person. And that's okay. I'm going to repay you. You don't have to look for repayment from man. God is going to repay you. And God can pay you better than any man can. Than any woman can. Than any job can. So you're going to learn how to not look for repayment from other people. But from source, from God. That's where everything comes from. So you're going to release that. Release the expectations of others. That's what you're going to be doing in this next season. Learning how to release. Spirit, give me a message for the star. What do I have? The Four of Swords. You're going to be busy. <laughs> oh, Taurus, this next season, this breakthrough, you're going to be busy. But it's going to be a good busy. Because you're, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. Your business is going to be taking off. Um, again, I heard notoriety for someone. You're going to be heavy on social media. You are going to be busy. But it's going to be a good busy. You're definitely going to be reaping the fruit of your labor. You're definitely going to be standing out, Taurus. Give me a message for death and rebirth. For some of you, I'm getting like, if you've been um, experiencing a drought when it comes to your sex life, um, that's going to be shifting. You're going to be very busy when it comes to this new relationship for someone. Clarifying death and rebirth. I have the eight of pentacles. Yes. You doing the work. You investing into yourself. You investing in your change and your transformation. You're changing your life. You're changing yourself. I feel like for some of you, you're no longer going to be caring about how other people feel about what it is that you do. You're going to live for you. You're going to be making some drastic changes and not everybody going to agree, but you're not going to care because it's your change. It's your life. This is your transformation. For someone, I see you getting tattoos, multiple tattoos, tours, getting tatted. Yes. For someone, like I can see you getting a tattoo right here. Covering all of this. But yes, Taurus, you're investing in your transformation. You're doing the work when it comes to your growth, your enlightenment, yourself. And so that's why you have all of these new opportunities coming in. You're going through a major upgrade, a major level up in your life on every aspect. Every nook and cranny is leveling up for you. 
and you're doing the work behind the scenes you working people may not see everything that you're doing but behind the scenes you working on yourself you're planting your seeds you're staying up late at night to get this business off the ground creating your business plan putting yourself out there being more vocal let's pull some final messages Spirit, give me some final messages for Taurus. And I see a lot of pentacles, you know, the six of pentacles. We got that twice. We got the eight of pentacles twice. We have the ace of pentacles. So, yeah, money is definitely not going to be an issue for you. Your finances are going to be upgrading, Taurus. You're going to, I heard more money. Yes, you're definitely going to have money. I heard pay the cost to be the boss. Spirit, give me some final messages for Taurus. make it up i can't make it up if i wanted to good fortune invite magic and yes good fortune you are going to be very fortunate especially financially invite the magic in yes god will not withhold anything from you but he wants your mind to be free he wants your spirit to be free he wants your faith to be strong invite the magic in understand that anything is possible i feel like you're coming into a season where god is going to shock your socks off there's going to be so many blessings you're not going to expect so many doors that are going to open and it's going to be miracles it's going to be miracles because you would have never expected the opportunities that are about to come your way towards invite the magic in be open to embracing the new change, the full death and rebirth change. You have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to accept change. Let's get one more message. Spirit, give me one more message for Taurus. What do I have here? Oh, I am blessed. You're blessed. That's it, Taurus. You can walk like you're blessed, talk like you're blessed, because you are. You're blessed. And again, tattoos. Somebody's going to be getting some tattoos. <laughs> but yes, Taurus, you are blessed. That's what God wants you to know. You're blessed. In and out of season, you are blessed. So carry yourself as if, because you are. So Taurus, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed, Taurus. <laughs>